let us discuss the calculation of force between uh, two parallel plates due to a liquid between these. Let's first discuss the situation. Here you can see in this picture there are two glass plates. Say uh, these are glass plates, and uh, between these two glass plates, a liquid is trapped. It is also given that the circular area of contact of the liquid with the plates is, we are given that area of contact is equals to A. In this situation at all the edges, we can say an inward meniscus will be obtained and the liquid will be having a cylindrical sort of shape. On which one side the curvature radius is R and other side it is flat. So, in this situation we can say if uh, the meniscus is having a radius of curvature r, then uh, pressure difference at point A and B inside and outside can be easily calculated. And in this situation if uh, the separation between the plates is D and uh, if uh, this contact angle is theta, we can directly write down in this situation if uh, this is the curvature uh, a radius and a sphere of curvature for this meniscus, then we can directly state in this situation this angle is theta and the separation d can be written as 2r cos theta in this situation and the pressure difference at point a and b can be written as pa minus pb is equals to t by r because it is a surface having two curvatures at one side it is flat and other side it is having a curvature radius r. So, we will use multiple curvature expression and in this situation at point A pressure is P atmospheric. So, at point B pressure can be calculated directly as a P atmospheric minus T by r. Now, in this situation when we talk about these two plates due to surface tension inside pressure is low, but outside we are having pressure equal to P atmospheric. So, as inside pressure is less than P atmospheric, this atmospheric pressure will be pushing from the two sides the plates. That is why we can say the two plates will have a tendency to attract. Actually, these are not attracting, it is the atmospheric pressure which is pushing them close to each other. So, if we wish to separate these two plates, we need to apply a force F onto these plates and we can say to separate these plates we need to apply a force F which should be equal to in the situation we must write P atmospheric minus pressure at point B multiplied by the surface area where the liquid is in contact or the zone in which the pressure is less. So, in this situation P atmospheric minus pressure B can be written as T by R. So, it can be written as T A by R and in this situation the radius of curvature can be given as D by 2 cos theta. So, here we can write it T A divided by D by 2 cos theta. This is the expression for the force and like for glass water pair, generally we take theta approximately 0. If we take theta approximately 0, this implies the value of force can be written as 2t a by d. So, this is also quite a useful expression which is used in different numerical problems. So, just keep the expression and the analysis in your mind.